Hey guys, Shadow Slayer, come back at you today. Uh, we are, I did a little bit of uh, comic book pickups here. Uh, mainly, most of the stuff was uh, whatnot. Uh, it's not a whole lot of stuff, um, but you know, it's a little something for slab wise that I got for a pretty good price. Um, and then a couple of the other things were just, you know, books that um, we were going through a collection and I just picked some out. Not, nothing crazy valuable. All the valuable stuff we're, you know, we're sending off to an auction. Or we're making our own auction, I should say. Um, so I took some of the stuff that's not like, you know, super value by any means. Just either like the cover or, you know, they were pretty they were pretty cool. Alright, so um, let's get started here. So the first thing I picked up was the... And all these were really, really good price. Um, I got them for like 20 bucks or 20 to $30. Um, but I uh, got a 9-2 Spider-Man Unlimited. And that is just going to keep falling, isn't it? Sure is. Um, so that's the number one right there. Uh, 92. And it is the, I believe, the first appearance of Shriek, Carnage, and Doppelganger uh, appearance. So, and it's the beginning of the Maximum Carnage storyline. So, yeah, it's not too bad. I thought that was pretty good for the price. And then next here we have this. Uh, apparently this this foil cover goes for quite a bit more. Um, I think this is the only one where I pay like 50 bucks for. Uh, but come to find out it's a $100 book. So uh, that might be something I, I don't I debate on if I'll keep this one or not. Um, this is just not staying. Okay. But definitely thought that was a cool book. Uh, and then the next one here, this one again, it was like, it was like, I think 18 bucks or something like that. So it's a 9-2 of Alpha Flight 17. Uh, it's a big Hero 6 cover and appearance. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool. I liked it. I think, uh, yeah. I thought that made it a wraparound. I don't one of these I think is a wraparound. I think, I want to say it's this one maybe. Um, nope. That maybe is a different comic I was looking at. Anyway, so there was a 9-8 of the DC Comics Presents number 80. Um, I believe it's a Legion of Superheroes um, key significance up there. So nothing. it's not a huge key or anything. Um, but I still thought it was a cool book to have. You know, some... Uh, I usually I don't have a lot of Superman stuff, so... I thought that would have been... I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. And then for raw books, these are the things that I just... We just had... Um, so, uh, I found this, the, uh, it's not, a, it's not a great condition at all, but, you know, it's an old school, uh, I believe Silver Age, let me, uh, let me take a look, see here, I don't know what, uh, year, 1963, so, yeah, it's an older, an older book there, for sure, um, but it's, you know, it's got problems, I mean, it's got, you know, it's got a rip and stuff on the back, um, again, I just, I got it because, you know, it was basically going to be just tossed away, you know. So, I know it's not in any key significance or anything like that, but I was like, eh, I'll take it anyways. Um, and then, so, and then there was this crime syndicates. Um, I was looking, I was reading at these, and uh, they seem pretty cool. So, these are all, like, the variant covers there. Crime Syndicate 2. Um, I think it was missing a few of them. Um, and then this is the Infinite Frontier. Uh, I like that that cover. That was pretty cool. Uh, and then there's the Crime Syndicate 5 variant cover there. Some flash action. And then there was this Neil Adams variant that I haven't, I don't think I've ever seen for Harley Quinn. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. And I was like, huh. Never seen that one. And then Crime Syndicate number 1. So I wanted to try to get the other Crime Syndicates there. Uh, nothing, nothing too crazy. It was like I said. It was just, just some books that I was just like, oh, I'm curious on. And then, uh, as you can see, um, I think I've showed this in a video before, but this is the one in twenty-five variant for the Sword of Azrael, um, number six. But you'll notice something missing right there. And yeah, so I'm going to be sending away Spider-Man. Uh, me and my uncle were doing a. Uh, CGC submission and uh, I, this one I would love to send out it just I just know it needs a press and a clean 
And I, I, I need to find someone to do a nice press and clean because I want to learn, but, I, you know, I wouldn't want to learn on something like that. Too expensive of a book. But, um, yeah, if anyone uh, knows of anyone that can do a nice press and clean, because, um, like I said, I'd like to get that, that nice crease that you can see that kind of goes up. Um, if get that out, and the only the only really defect is that like little guy right there, and I think there's a little something right here. Um, other than that, I mean, it's got a couple spine ticks, but you know, it's a 19 what 65, I think this book is somewhere around that age. Um, but yeah, so this is you know something I would absolutely want to get pressed clean before I sent it out. Um, I'm thinking it could tr it could possibly get if it was pressed and clean, it may get an eight. Seven five, I'd be happy with those numbers, but I'm not. See, comics. There's so many variables with that. On, uh, you know, certain spine ticks. You know, the interior book could, you know, could be missing a page. For all you know, um, I haven't bent it open to check. I bought it from a reputable source, so I know that he went and he looked, and you know, he said the colors are beautiful on it, and I believe him because the colors are beautiful on the cover. So. Um, yeah, definitely something I want to get pressed and clean before I send out. Um, but yes, if anyone knows, drop a comment down below, um, on a good press and clean, uh, that'd be great. And I was also looking at some of my, uh, Pokemon cards that I had. Um, you know, I was thinking about sending these two out to get graded, but then I noticed this guy right here, it's got, it's not like whitening or anything, but the cuts are really bad on it. So, uh, selling it raw is about $180, so it's really not, it might be more effective just to sell that raw and to get a lower grade and not be able to sell it, but, and then I found this card when I was a kid, um, I can zoom in a little bit on that. This one I know will probably get a horrible, horrible grade, but it's been, it's been a top loader for a long time, I just re-put a new one on it, um, but yeah, of course it's got a little whitening and stuff like that, nothing crazy, but... Anyways, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for me today. Um, like I said, nothing nothing too crazy pickup-wise. I'm um, just getting over the surgery and everything like that. So hopefully be back to hunting around, finding some good books, you know. Uh, like I said, nothing too crazy, but you never know. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you find some good stuff when you're not even looking for it. But uh, all right, guys. Well, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.